Hello everyone. Now our next topic is list methods. We already completed these three topics. These are very important. The last part of list are methods. Okay. Now, uh, what are list methods? So list methods are nothing but functions. Uh, any function that is inside a class is known as methods or the properties of that class or the attributes of that class. Okay. So there are so many methods available. Uh, you can perform different type of op operations on a list. Okay. How to check how we are going to know that these are the functions or methods that are available in list class. So all you have to do is use help function. Help function will return the documentation string written inside the uh, any function or class. So list is a class. We already know this. If you run this, you will it will print the documentation string. Now look at this. It is representing that list is a class. Correct. If you scroll down here, you will see multiple uh, magic methods that are available here. These magic methods, um, whenever you find double underscore in front and the back part, you will uh, consider those as um, list. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, magic methods. Okay. Now these magic methods have some special properties. We are not working on these currently, but after that you will see different functions here. All these functions are methods of list class. Methods are nothing but functions inside a particular class. You can only apply these functions on list objects. You cannot apply these function on any other object. Okay. Because this is inside a box called list. Okay. This is a simple box or you can consider a class as a structure. So every time you create a list, it is a structure where you can store different values. Okay. You can perform different operation on that particular structure on that particular data that is represent um, present in that particular structure. Okay. So these are functions. Okay. Let me uh, make this same. Now, now um, what I want, let's create a list here. Okay. 15 to not to 22, 33, 7 and 100. Okay. So these are some elements inside this list. If you print the list, you will get the whole list as it is. Now I want to add another element inside this list. Okay. We already know list will not work like this. For example, indexes are zero, one, two, three, four. I want an element on the fifth index. So now if you want to assign anything here, this will not work. Okay. This will not work. Why? Because a list will not create a new index. Okay. If you assign this, it will not create an index. It will replace the values. If you want to replace 100, you can replace it by passing four here. So if you run this, it will give you an error. This is index error, list assignment out of index. Okay. So you cannot generate any index. This is the property of list. Okay. Now, if I want to add an element, we can use a method that is append method. Okay. Append is a method. We can use that method. That is append method. Now, what this append will do? Append is used um, in the the word is used in place of add it. So, if you want to add it something, you can append elements. Now, if I use append here and pass any element, for example, fifty five, fifty five will be added here in the last index. Now, if you run this, you will get an error that append is not available. But append is not defined. Okay. Append is not defined. Correct. Why we are getting this error? Because this method is inside class list. Okay. So anything that is inside class list, you can only access those using a list class. Okay. List object. Sorry. So now we already have this object. 
correct? If you print the type of it, you will get class list. Okay. Now, if I want to access those, you have to use the object name and place a dot here. Dot is nothing but calling someone. So if you want to call your friend, you just call their name. Okay. Same as this dot. When you use an object with, with the help of this object, we are accessing append method. Now this will work. <clears throat> Why this will work? Because now we have the object and this object have the authority to access all the elements or all the methods inside list class. Correct. So if you run this, it will execute. And if you print list here, you will get 55 here. Okay. This is how append works. Correct. Let me add one more thing. If I use append here again, and if I pass triple one, it will add something or list. You can use any type of element inside a list. So if I pass orange here, orange will be append. And if you print the value, you will get this. So append will add the element at the last position. Okay. You cannot insert an element between uh, any specific index with the help of append. Okay. Append will only add the element at the last. Okay. Now let's move forward. We have some more um, methods available. So we can apply. Uh, one of the method is one of the methods are um, we can use insert here or we can use index here. Okay. We have an index here. Let me go back to the help part. You will see a index function here. All you have to do is pass a value and you can uh, mention start and stop whatever. But let me use the same uh, list. And if I want to get the index of any element, for example, if I write I L dot index, so index method will be called. If I pass 33 here, it will return the index of 33. So index of 33 is 0, 1, 2. 2 is the index of 33. It will return 2. Correct? So this is our index. Now if you want this index to start from some specific position, you can use like this. Um, index. And let me write something. Let me use this again. Now. Uh, there can be a case where you will find 33 again. So now when it find 33 for the first time, it will return the index. That means if you pass 33 here, it will give you three. But if you want the another 33, the index of this, all you have to do is pass and start point to mention start is just in um, default argument. You already we didn't study default argument, but it is same as uh, and in print. Okay. We already know and in print, how print works. Okay. So by default value of start is zero, but if you pass here one, zero, one, two, three, I'm passing three. Here. So it will start from this particular index and check if there is 33 available. So it will return the index of, sorry, what is the type? no keyword argument. Okay. Keyword argument. There's no keyword argument. It will pass three here. Now zero, one, two, three. We are starting from here. Four, five, fifth is the index of 33. Correct. So this is how index work. You can pass the index where you want to start the searching. Okay. Now let's move forward. We have so many other methods available. Like we have insert. Okay. Now, let me use insert here. Now what is insert? If you want to insert any element between or any specific on any specific um, index. So what you can do, let me use insert. What I want, I want to add 11 between 22 and 33. Okay. Or you can say this on the second index, zero, one, two on the second index. Okay. Now how this will work Pass the index first. I want uh, element on the second index and pass the object after that. So let me pass 11 here or let me pass 1000 here. Okay. 
So what will happen? It will insert an element on the second index. Okay. Let me print the list. Okay. You can see that the list is here. Now you have find it is returning none. So any method or function that is returning nothing will always return none. Okay. None is an object in Python and it represents nothing. Or you can consider this as equivalent to null. Okay. In other languages we use null, but in Python we use none. Okay. This is representing nothing. Okay. We don't want to specify. Okay. We don't want to specify anything to a particular object. That's why we just pass none to it. So any function that is returning nothing because this insert function is not returning anything or returning any uh, value to us. It is just inserting the element. So that's why uh, and if we are going to print that you will see none here. Okay. So let me run this. Let me run this. Let me don't run this. Okay. Now uh, this is how insert works. You can just pass the index here and just pass the element you want to insert. Okay. You can pass on the first index, on the last index, where, uh, whatever value you want to insert. Okay. So there are so many other functions available. Uh, just like these, we have reverse. Okay. We have reverse. Now, um, there's an interview question also here. But before that, let me use some values. If I write l dot reverse, okay, what this method will do, it will reverse the whole list, okay. So if you print this, print the value of list, it will give you this, okay. Let me use the same. If I want to do the same using slicing, you already know that how slicing works. So let me pass starting at the point as nothing and pass the steps to negative. So minus one represent everything work from left to right. Sorry, right to left. So it will start from here and go back to here. So this is your output. But the only difference between these two is this reverse method will reverse all the numbers and will assign that again to list. So if you print the list, you will get the list like this. So now the value of list is changed, but here, when you use slicing, slicing will always generate a new list. So it is generating a new list. And here, what is happening? Happening here is nothing. If you print list again, you will see output like this. Okay. So slicing will not change the actual value of list, but reverse will change the actual value of list. There is a basic difference. Okay. So these are some methods and there are so many other methods available. Um, pop remove and if you want to remove something you can use remove method okay we have remove method so now how this remove works if you pass a dot remove and pass the value like five so five will be removed from this list so if you print the list you will see that five is removed you can remove any uh, any element from the list. Okay. There is no foundation to remove the last element only. You can pass anything here. For example, if I remove two, it will remove two. Okay. Now indexes will be rearranged again. Okay. So this is how list methods work. There are so many other methods available. You can go and check it out. Uh, these are very simple. Whatever the, their name is, they will work exactly same. Okay. That's it. So th this is our list topics and list topics completed. Let's move to the next topic and that's it. Thank you.